advanced civilization is the collective achievements of that civilization. If we understand each other better, which really is what art does, we create a world that we all want to live in. And I think that's what's so extraordinary about this. Built in 1921, the Cape Town grain silos were Africa's tallest building for over half a century, a marvel of technology in their day. They watched over a growing city as they played a vital role in stimulating the country's economy. Agriculture was central to the country's growth. The grain would arrive at the harbour to be placed in the innovative grain elevator and then be sorted and stored for export all over the world. But with changes to shipping technology, by 1995, they'd become outdated and started a slow process of decline. After decades of service, by 2001, the silos lay derelict, their fate uncertain. I view the waterfront as being the gateway to South Africa. We're in the fastest phase of development we've ever been in. As a major city, you have to have major draw cards. I'm most excited about the Museum for Contemporary Art. It was a huge opportunity for us to create a fantastic institution, which will be great for locals, great for young people, but also a real international tourist draw card. First experience I had was to see the silo building from a distance. I knew this would be the perfect building. I usually see something and then I like it or I don't like it. I knew this was the perfect building to house a museum. Just seeing it from the outside, the visual appearance and the gravitas and the, uh, and the location already told me that this was just a dream come true. You have an idea and you have a vision and you, you know, go about it, but ultimately, uh, you know, I believe in collaboration, in partnership and bringing others along on the journey. Why a museum? Why here? Why now? And why at the tip of Africa? It's a symbol, it's an icon of the confidence that we feel about being Africans, the confidence that we feel about our place in the world. All these factors converge together to make this moment happen. And I think that's what's so extraordinary about this. There was this building sitting like the elephant in Cape Town's room. How do you work with the most tubey building ever and turn that to your advantage? That the outside already had idiosyncrasy. The inside, we were in danger of losing the extraordinary cellular structure and we needed to create a space that would help you understand the building so you could walk in and navigate around. So we took the idea of taking just one of those billions of grains of corn and scaling it up and using that almost as the cutting tool to cut through. The outcome must feel that it has a perfection to it, like a hot wire that just cut through butter, which of course isn't how we're doing it. Africa needs to tell a new story. This is a perfect moment. The first time I heard about it, I was like, wow. It's like a game changer. The fact that there is actually a museum like this around, you know, makes a huge difference. It's something uh, people can strive for. It can allow artists to have a truly international showcase of their work. It's something of global significance. Before, I had to go to Paris to go and see what there is, or to London. I think it's like such a dream. If you look at the narrative on Africa, it's a new story of our growth. 
a new story of our rise and our contribution. As a Standard Bank Group, we are very passionate about Africa and her growth story. And over the past 30 years, we've shown a keen interest in the world of art in its many forms. We've also been very privileged to see some wonderful young artists grow and make their mark on a global stage. Over the years, our clients have shown a keen interest in the world of art. And it's wonderful to be teaming up with Zeitz Mocha to not only celebrate the wonderful history of the African continent, but also play a small role as we shape the next generation of leaders. For a very long time, the African story has been told by outsiders. Africa is taking ownership of its narrative. That's why Side Smoker is so exciting, because it's a platform from which Africa can tell its own narrative in its own way. It's a great undertaking. It's about time that we have something as colossal as this. I'm really excited. Now we will have a place where all this history will be documented. It breaks the stereotype, number one, that Africans are not united. That will be amazing. It's actually already amazing. The VNA Waterfront recognized the significance of its grain silo complex as an historic landmark. The vision of the VNA Waterfront and Jochen Zeitz to establish Zeitz Mocha will have a major cultural impact for Africa. A founding principle is access for all. And when it opens, it centers for the moving image, for photography, for curatorial excellence, for performative practice, and for art education will join the Costume Institute announced last year. For centuries, Africa has exported its wealth to the world. Long last, it's bringing the world to its shores to share in its own story. This whole museum is going to have a life on its own. These are institutions forever. We need to start celebrating the beauty of our continent. We need to start telling the positive stories. We need to start celebrating our people and who we are. Such that when you and I are no longer here, the, the next and next coming generations can always remember a time and a place and a people that we were. <laughs>